In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to set up for administration of a spinal anesthetic. At our institution, all of the supplies are included in a spinal kit, with the exception of the spinal anesthetic itself, any adjuvants like opioids, and chloroprep sticks. We'll go through what's included in the kit and how to set it up effectively. To open the kit, grasp the corners of the sterile covering, ensuring that you don't contaminate the kit's contents. Before donning sterile gloves, add two chloroprep sticks to sterilize the patient's back. Everything in the kit is sterile, so prior to handling any of the contents of the kit now, we'll have to don sterile gloves. We're going to separate out the components of the kit. Remove any items you will not use to keep a less cluttered workspace. You can discard the povidone iodine solution and prep sticks, since we'll be using chloroprep instead. Other contents of the kit include a paper towel, a fenestrated clear drape, medication labels, a skin marking pen that you can discard if not using. The kit comes with a 5cc 1% lidocaine vial, used for your local infiltration to anesthetize the skin. A 19 gauge filter needle, a 25 gauge 1.5 inch needle for subcutaneous infiltration, 1.25 inch introducer needle through which the spinal needle will be inserted, a 3cc slip tip syringe, a filter straw with which you'll draw up your local anesthetic, a 25 gauge 3.5 inch Whitaker spinal needle, and a 5cc glass lure slip tip syringe to hold your spinal anesthetic. To open the vial, you can elect to use gauze to give yourself a bit of protection. Use one hand to secure the vial and the other to push the top away from you. This breaks open the vial and minimizes the chances of cutting yourself. Use the filter straw to draw up the medications. You will do this for the 1% lidocaine as well as the spinal anesthetic. The slip dip syringe will go into the 25 gauge needle. Be sure that it's a solid connection between the two. Don't forget to label your syringes to avoid mistakes. This is especially important if you're setting up the kit prior to the case starting. If the kit does not have the spinal local anesthetic desired, you'll need to obtain that and draw it up sterile. Your assistant or attending can open and hold the vial for you to draw it out of. Always confirm that you have the correct medication. At our institution for orthopedic procedures, we use preservative free bupivacaine 0.5%. And be sure to check the expiration date. Finally, it's helpful to arrange the components of the kit in a clear spot for easy access. And that is all you need to set up your spinal anesthetic kit. 